Okay, could you please introduce yourself? I'm um, Engineer Aaron Kabirizi, Commissioner for Water Supply and Sanitation in the Government of Uganda. Thank you for uh, um, doing an interview with us. Uh, Jean? I'm Chinda Lahav, IRC, and I'm interested to hear about Uganda and your Rural Water Services program. Um, how do you budget for decentralization of water services in Uganda? Uh, decentralized water services in Uganda, that is mainly the rural water supply, uh, is budgeted from the government, that's the Ministry of Finance, uh, allocates a certain amount of money, and then uh, at the central ministry, the money is allocated to the respective local governments that do the implementation. Um, what value do you think the wash cost project could add to Uganda in your decentralization process and in your costing process? This would uh, add extremely very high value because uh, in allocating resources to the various local governments, uh, we have uh, one major challenge of allocating the resources equitably and now you need cost information if you are to do to allocate resources uh, equitably to respective uh, local governments because they need different types of technologies which cost different whose costs are different so uh, cost information is extremely important um, Secondly, uh, this information, cost information is important even when you are doing monitoring and evaluation. Because at the end of the day, you need accurate cost information if you are to know that the resources that have been allocated to the respective local governments have been used for the right, uh, rather used properly. When one gets to operationalization, one always needs to go one step further than research and information. What is that step for you in terms of wash cost and in terms of the work that's been done in the financial sector around costs for water services? The step I would think needs to be uh, taken further. This research needs to be uh, to develop tools such that the research findings are packaged in a way that they can be used at various levels. For example, at the national level, you need uh, uh, tools that you'll use to analyze information that's coming from the local governments. But then at the local governments, you need tools that uh, will help them collect the information you need. These two are completed for different things, and they need to be addressed uh, by research. How, there are many NGOs that are developing all kinds of tools for decentralization, for local government, for water services. How do these tools actually get to local government? How can we make sure that they're actually adding value, that they're being used, and that they result in sustainable water services? In Uganda, that's one of the major challenges. You have many NGOs, you have many sector players developing tools uh, of different uh, standards. But then, uh, you're right, we need to make sure that these tools find their way into proper use into the local governments. Okay, for us, we have some coordination mechanism at the local governments, but we need uh, these tools develop such that they are so user friendly, they are accepted by the local governments, but also uh, they are accepted by the other NGOs so that not every NGO comes up with different tools. And uh, I think to me, there we shall have more to step further. Then, at the national level, of course, at the national level, we are a little more coordinated and uh, we have our joint sector review, but still we need the tools to be developed 
uh, in such a way that they can be used, uh, they can be accepted and used at the national level for the purposes we really need them for. I think that often um, tools are developed that are sometimes not completely appropriate to the local context or, or the different challenges that local government are facing. Um, and in fact, sometimes or often one finds that municipalities themselves are devising systems that are much better than what's been devised by consultants or departments at the national level. What can we do to really find these gems or the really good examples of planning tools or tariff setting tools or bylaws or, or institutional arrangements from local government to share those across uh, countries and also across districts within a country? Yeah, uh, okay, you say that uh, some tools devoted by local governments are better or municipalities. Well, I think the whole thing starts with the consultant or the person who is coordinating the whole activity of development of tools. And uh, this is where emphasis or efforts needs to go, so that the person coordinating the development of tools has a clear picture of what is going on everywhere. Because you find uh, the respective local governments, of course they use other NGOs or other consultants to develop a tool here, half a tool there, then you find NGOs also developing. To me, I, I don't think there is anybody developing a perfect uh, system. And this is where I, I think somebody needs to come in to coordinate all these efforts for the benefit and uh, in order to get value for money for whatever we're doing. Thank you. That's very useful. Thank you.